Well, greetings. We're going to show another restorative case here. And this case is way out. And if you can learn to, to do this, you've learned orthodontics. Uh, but there's almost no limit to what you can do as far as expanding the bone structure of adults and the bone moves and you've been told you can't do this, you can't do that, and you can't do this. You can do this darn near anything. You can come up with your, in your mind what you want to do. And so I want you to look at this case and uh, I hope it goes all over the world that people can do these things with orthodontics. And then we came in and we had to crown a bunch of teeth here. He's just missing teeth. And we did that too. So you work with a restorative person or the restorative person can learn how to do this and just do the restorative work to its regular dentistry and then the orthodontic part. But well, watch this case and let me show you what it is. I'm gonna run through it. Uh, pretty pretty uh, big here and show you let me see I didn't get my little deal going Let's pause where is my marker okay well, there we go okay sorry for the delay here all right, let's get going. And these are things that you can do here. Red cross bites, you can just do any, almost anything within reason. You can do it. And this is a difficult case. It's not made easy. It, well, it is, we say, made easy. But it's possible to do. And I will show you, and you can see that. <laughs> That's mostly. Now, here is this guy. Now, I knew him so well after working with him for years. And this is, this came in as just a real challenge. And I, I just loved cases like this. Uh, just figure out how you're going to do it. And you can do it. And you had all this stuff that you can't do all this, 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 this. This is a bunch of bull. I mean, you can just move anybody's teeth as long as they're living and you can expand the upper arches you can constrict them you can move teeth around you can slide them around you can move them and you can put teeth where there's no bone if you just go easy with them out there they carry their bone with them now watch what we do this guy's upper teeth fit inside the lower teeth now he bites like that. And he's been doing this all of his life. And nobody would even dare tackle this. But he ground his teeth off. Now, look, look how the front part of these teeth is worn off. And he goes down behind this. If you put your finger in there, he could probably cut your finger in two. He's got his mouth open now. And so he's got, the, he's got a closed bite. He's everything you can think about wrong here and it works. So you can put these teeth where they ought to be and then you have gaps where he's missing teeth and you can fill that in with regular orthodontics that people have been doing for years. All right, let's go. So we're going to put, put a pad up here and we're going to get these teeth together and I'm going to expand the upper arch while we've got it spread out like that. Now if you stuck your finger in there and he bit it like that, uh, uh, he could probably chew the toughest meat <laughs> if he wanted to. All right, here's the bottom arch down here, down here. And he's, uh, his, and this is the upper arch. You see how much smaller it is. And he's missing a bunch of teeth in here. And so we put a acrylic deal here to open it and let this come together. And he said, well, I can't chew much with this. I said, you're just going to have to tough it out and eat with your front teeth up here for a while. He had tough joints and it didn't bother him at all. And he bites down here. These teeth move together back here. They don't get 
longer or they don't grow. They just, the bone structure and the teeth and everything moved down. Now these teeth, these lower teeth went up underneath here and that moved that much. Look how much moved. Let me show that again. We're biting here and those teeth are touching. And you remember a while ago where the, the lower teeth went in and they were that, so these, this has moved down to look like a half inch here. And it still goes. And I've been told you couldn't do any of this, many of these things, but you can do them. And uh, so I hope you realize that there's just almost no limit to what you can do with the teeth like this. Now he's biting there and that is moved together, look like a half inch in here. And the teeth didn't get longer, the bone stayed with the teeth and the whole blooming thing comes together over here. So all of this stuff we've been told about, you can't do this, you can't do that, is just a bunch of bull. You can do it. It just takes time and to think what you're going to do. So we use a large arch out here. We're expanding this arch with a big daddy arch and we do some reverse torque and stuff to keep bring the teeth out. Now this, this whole thing here was fitting inside the lower arch when we started. And that's, uh, and here we open this up and we can jump the bat over there and carry it that way. Now here's the lower arch, we'll line it up and we're moving everything around and we'll rotate teeth. It's something, everything you can think about in orthodontics in here. And this is your big arch wire. We're expanding it and bringing the upper uh, out and the teeth are moving and the bone is moving with the teeth. We didn't move the teeth out of the bone at all. And this is a bunch of bull too. Now, now you might move one tooth if you just push it out like that, but when you take a whole group out, you can just move those teeth out and the bone will go right with them. And that's the way it is. All right, now, here we've got this bonded thing up here in the front of his mouth, and now he can chew on these teeth. When I first put this on, there was a gap here almost a half inch, and this has come together and this gives him some vertical height of his face that he didn't have when we started. Now we're going to get these upper teeth out over the lower teeth. Now you were biting in this area, this acrylic, and we've opened up space in here, and we'll have have to have some bridge work done in that area. Now we go here, and I've got we don't have much time today to uh, spend. You could spend the whole week talking about a case like this and how you do it. Now, we got to rotate these teeth. They're, they're rotating, all right. And we get him leveled out. And now I'm going to, I'm going pretty fast here, but you can go back and run over and look at it and see how you do it. And you see something be done, then you know that you can do it. If you don't think Somebody to look at it and somebody give you a case like that and you had never seen anything done like it, then you wouldn't, you'd be afraid to even start it. But you can do this complicated stuff. And I'm a general dentist doing it. I'm not inter-university trained doing it, but I've gone to lectures all over the country and everything else and picked the things that can be done and I learned how to do it and I said I was going to teach people everywhere in the world to do orthodontics and get it out from under the bushel where they didn't want, to, want people to know it because they could keep the high price for it. Now we're doing orthodontics now for people all over the world. Everybody and his dog's got braces on. Now, here we bring this out, and these teeth that were ground down right here, we're, we've pulled them out here, and they don't look all that bad like that. And we're going ahead and come in. Now, this is just 
This is what we call our Big Daddy arch wire, and it will expand an adult arch up here. You just put it on there, and yeah, you've got to take take a rectangular wire and put that reverse torque on it to keep the roots going out that way. We've got stuff telling you how to do that. And now we're expanding this out and we're opening the gap at the same time. And it's coming along real good. This is uh, this takes a while to do. And I got to know this old boy real good. And I've watched him for years and it held up. It's, it's still, this guy, if you could find him today, he's got these. And he's, he'll probably die with these teeth out like that. It's not something that's going to fold up on you either. Now look at where this arch is right here on the bottom. This was out to start with, and the upper is going to be out over the top of it. Now here he is. We've given him a little bit of height in the facial structure. And looking from that side, you can see the difference in it. Now he smiled a little bit, and we were working on him. And he's got his teeth together where he can chew in the back part of his mouth, and so he's happier with that. He's a nice guy. I enjoyed working with him and kidding him about this. But now we've got the upper teeth out over the bottom teeth, and they were fitting inside there, and they would tell you you cannot do that, but you can do it. And so here it is. Now we... Uh, we put little false teeth in here and he went in and, and had some bridge work done after we got this lined up like that. He came in and he, they, let me get over here. We're going to do some bridge work up here. So I sent him back to one person and he told him how much the bridge work is going to be. And he, he came to me and said, I can't do that. It's cost too much. It was going to cost more to get the bridges than it did to do the orthodontics. But if you did a case like this today on somebody that had something, you could charge 35000 or $40,000 to do it. And, and, and you can do this type of orthodontics if you wanted to. So our charging system in orthodontics is just a stupid, ridiculous thing. It's like driving your car into a shop and saying, how much do you charge to fix a car? That's about as stupid as it is uh, to say you charge so much for orthodontics. The orthodontics can be uh, 10 times more expensive for some one thing and then another thing. All right, so we go with this and he gets his bridge work done and the teeth are together and the guy has his regular teeth now with some bridge work filling up the gaps up here. And that's the way it was when we started. And there it is now after we uh, gone through this. And it took us a while to do it. But that's the way the upper teeth were down in there. Now they're like that. And people would tell you you can't do this, but you can do it. And that same way right here. Now, he had a tooth back here that was so wide, I just put the upper tooth down in the gap and left it out there. I didn't want to come back and redo that tooth that had been done that way. And that's the upper arch when we started. And there it is now after he has this bridge work done. And this is 94. And here he is, and I call him Warrell. And he, he smiles and now you got teeth. And he can eat on those teeth and he can smile and smile. It has changed his whole life for this man. And so thank you for watching. And you can learn to do this if you have the desire to really get in there. I'm a general dentist. I'm not a, uh, I haven't gone to the university. They turned me down. They wanted me to quit work, quit my dental practice and go back to orthodontic school. I said, no thank you, I'll just stay with it like it is. And I, I had several real good 
orthodontic friends, and I've talked with several of them, and you can do this too. And if you want to study this, come to Grapevine, Texas, and we've got some pretty good guys that will try to help you in learning to do this type of work. So thanks for watching, and uh, there's where we started out, you see, and we uh, do this. It was a class three case. We just built all this out over it like that. And now the teeth are fitting together something like that. Now this uh, area taken, we, the, the, I never did bring the roots of this tooth back. The silence is down here like that. We had a root canal done. But we had to put, we, so we put a crown on this, which I'm kind of embarrassed for that, but we were bringing roots back it in, in the middle of the silence up here. And this is his jaw joints. They're working good. You can look over those if you want to. And here is, is, is this case. Years after we finished it, I followed him for years. I watched him. This is still met like that right here. That, that's all right. And so here is in 1998. And I don't know whether I've got any later than that. But that's the way we started. And you can open them and even bite your finger off. But those teeth are sharp. Now that's the way it is. So I thank you for watching. And that's the bridge work he had put, he did. The bridge work cost more than we charged him for the orthodontics. And this is 1999. And that's the case that you should study if you think orthodontics is a, uh, it is a challenging profession. And I love to do it. And I, I enjoyed taking these difficult cases and doing this with them. So thank you for watching. If you want to learn orthodontics, come to the American Orthodontic Society. We're at our headquarters in Grapevine, Texas, right here. And you can fly in there from almost anywhere in the world to the International Airport, and they'll pick you up from the hotels and take you there. Thanks again, and I'm going to close out.